Hello everybody. The list of stuff never ends and never ends to be added on to that, that matter. Got a couple things I want to do to the gooseneck tonight. Now I got it down here. I dropped off the 12 at the next job, which is a couple miles up the road. And then I have to load up the 080 later tonight. And I do have the new windshield for that, but I got to do some modifications to the trailer. And that brought me to my next subject. Oh, check that out. How many of your gals drive a uh, Dodge Cummins? Oh, she's gonna stop. What she want? What she want? She's bringing me some weed eater string. Not even joking. But false alarm. Taylor's just gonna get the mail. But I did a video a while back. Mind you, I just moved into this place. This is my new shop. Uh, bought a house. Came with this belovedly awesome shop. It's gonna get painted. But I made a video on. Some simple shop tools that you could buy on a budget. A little simple craftsman set, floor jack, air compressor, stuff to go with it, uh, a couple other goodies. And people really kind of harped on me for having this little air compressor. They call it a weekend warrior little. And I literally said in the video, all I wanted to do was air up some tires. The thing cranks up to 135 PSI, like max effort, but I just needed to air up tires. So today's video, touches on that subject items that have pretty much replaced the air actuated power tools such as your impact your ratchet little things like that stuff mind you my at my dad's house my previous uh so you call it shop i've based out of there freaking forever he's got a pretty substantially good sized air compressor continuous duty it's a nice rig but only thing we really need something like that for isn't for airing up tires. It's for the bead blaster. You know, you throw it in there, you got a bead blaster rim, it takes a couple hours, you gotta let the air compressor cool down. I don't have that here, I don't need that. But we're gonna talk about some of the stuff. These are a couple little old knickknacks I had laying around. Your old impact for bopping off your lug nuts. Air ratchet, everybody likes these. Makes life a lot easier in certain situations. But I don't like carting around a hose all over the place. Same could be said with uh, gas powered chainsaw weed eater and such like that. So Makita, my trusty good old brand. I freaking love Makita just like uh, Dodge or FAE and all that stuff. So check this out. This thing is a Haas. This is just a half inch model too. Cordless Makita Impact. We have a three quarter model, but I, I had that in my bag, but I took it for uh, installing the new teeth on the FAE head for the excavator. But this thing, even your uh, freaking hardcore big daddy ones of these, this thing still had more torque. I tested it out on some axle nuts, or axle bolts rather, on the truck. The air impact one didn't want to pop them. A snap on air impact, okay? Now if you guys are running snap on and claim to fame because snap on is rather expensive in my book, this thing, it popped them off. I was rather surprised, but for running the bigger teeth and stuff on the mulcher heads, we got the three quarter one, and that thing is a freaking savage. Ah, uh, it's cordless, take it anywhere. Next thing is, check this out. Cordless ratchet. Don't have to have this thing anymore. It does kind of suck you have a big battery on the back but rather than have a bunch of different batteries you know you can get the smaller ones for these but that is so much nicer just to have this thing it gets into a lot of spots and they do have this i uh i did a little research before i broke my little rubber condom off the top don't break your condom guys i swear that's not good so i did some research before i got this one this one is actually the screw motor one so i can take the tip out they do make a 3 8 drive, but it's just a 3 8 drive, and it's not uh, ratcheting from what I read. And But I can put these tips in there, I can switch it to Phillips, whatever you want to do. I can put the tip in there, and I can adjust how far it sticks in there rather than just that other one. Again, sometimes you're still going to have to use the ratchet. Next thing on the list. People were saying I need to get an air compressor for the back of the 5500. I do have, you know, obviously per Dodge specs, which nobody listens to anyway, 2008 Dodge 5500 with a stick shift. 
the tow rating is pretty much girly on this truck but it can still haul 10,000 pounds in the bed but rather than put extra weight on this thing because I really like it just as a strict tow rig uh, people were really harping on me to put an air compressor on there that would be nice uh, honestly I would love to have a service truck dad and I were going over a list of things that we need uh, and we're trying to make that list really small to not buy anything more at all because we've been buying too much crap but an air compressor on there got to go over fire it up and then you still got to pack the hose around air compressor in a field that would be nice to uh the truck does have onboard air for little things with the pack brake but for blowing out your machines and stuff like that it'd be nice to have some pressurized air but check this out little makita blower runs off the same battery 18 volt as these everything else that i have here and this thing you think oh it's kind of be a sissy thought the same bought it tested it out i used it to blow off the deck of the trailer blow out the radiators blow out air cleaners whole nine that thing is freaking champ what's this guy doing i thought i heard a cummins up there and then a, a chevy came around the corner but a 12 valve was you hear him oh <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see it but he's He's just choochin' along. He's California choochin'. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, I didn't think this little thing was going to be worth a darn, but for the price, this thing gets used all the time. You just got to tape the end of it on there because you always bump it, and it's kind of like a, you know, a, uh, gosh dang, I can't even think right now. For when you're pressure washer, you always get in a tight spot and you knock the tip off. Kind of same thing with this, but air out your machines, air out everything with this, and it all fits in this bag here. Next thing I want to bring up is the cordless grinder. Now, obviously the battery life is not that long with uh, something that requires quite a bit of juice, but I don't need a generator on the truck. I can just grab this sucker, go to town. Uh, I'm gonna actually be using it today because I want to cut out a spot up there for a chain rack on this. That's what I'm gathering this stuff out for. I'm gonna cut this back just a couple notches and do a chain rack. What I thought, while we're making a video on the subject of all of this i'm gonna consider it stuff i didn't really think was gonna catch on uh you think your air impact always you know gotta get the hose out there and stuff like that i didn't think these things were gonna be as nearly as good as they are now you can see this one's got some miles on it we've been running this one for uh, a couple years now and it has not failed the three-quarter uh, makita did warranty it but the trigger uh broke it kind of acted up and sent it to them they sent a brand new one back so, got a couple other goodies in here. Makes sense. If you're doing light duty stuff, you just put one of those adapters to your sockets onto your uh, little guy. And he's an impact just the same. That thing is actually quite a bit of a hoss. Uh, Dixie May had one of those in his truck and it took the lug nuts off of his freaking Dodge. Off his 5500. I was pretty impressed. I didn't think I was going to do it. But this, I don't want to come across as let's go all hippie and get everything electric. We're going with stuff that makes sense, something that's easy. If your batteries are charged, you're ready to rock and roll. All this stuff is just easy access. You don't have to cart around a big compressor and all that stuff. Uh, so on the joking matter, I did talk about one of these before. My uncle bought this to see how it was. The uh, 36 volt battery powered weed eater. Uh, so I brought it down to the house. I tested it out and it was so freaking nice just to buzz around afternoon get something done i ordered one myself so taylor's gonna bring me the weed eater string now she's got a bartle too look at that but that's a brief list of some of the stuff that i noticed they do have a chainsaw or we did buy the chainsaw you know, it runs the 36 volt it is not quite as uh good as we all hoped you gonna get her boom get her. but anyway enough talking for the intro i went over the tools let's do a couple things to this trailer all right, enough chit chat about power tools and freaking cones or whatever. You guys saw the video I added this toolbox to the top and you're probably wondering what the hell happened to the lid. Well, uh, my chain broke and pop rivets I had. I didn't want to use pop rivets, but that's what they had in it. So I just did the same thing. I switched the lid to that side. And these things are a pain in the butt to get to fit in there each and every time. They're just, they're just extended because I have you can put a power drill on this side and it's a quick ratchet i never use that i kind of wish we just had the simple ones but you know if i had the power tool every time these would be badass but what i want to do is 
chain rack. I was gonna order one and then I was looking at this and I was like, I'm just gonna build one on here. And it's already got the C channel right here. So what I'm gonna do is just cut right here with the cutoff wheel grinder. Just cut a little chunk so the chain can slide over the top of it. And we got a chain rack. Simple, simple. New trailer is gonna be quite a bit different, but I, I opted out of ordering the chain rack from them because that's an expensive somehow option. And I can just make one or order one for cheaper. So let's get this party started. We need to cut a lot more. All right, I'm already freaking liking that a lot. I got this one chain, it's a little bit long, and the only time I ever use that is when I'm towing the Prime Tech, and it's excessively long. And this one is its counterpart, so I'm just gonna cut that off right there uh, to match the other one. All right, cool. There we go. Those things can kind of hide out. I want to get a little box or something to go right here so that uh, the chains don't rattle off. The reason I didn't want it long is because it would hang over the side. and That could be no good. So those, I think, are going to just work out slick like that. I might throw a bungee over the top to keep them uh, where I want them. But we got one more thing before we can go load up the machine. Where is it at? Where is it at? This is just... Uh, they call it treated pine board decking uh the trailer is a 2017 it's probably got like 10,000 miles on it uh <laughs> this board has been fighting me like a freaking crazy so i got this big old bolt in there and then the nut just came off and was just laying there the other day so let's go ahead and put this bolt back in there and hopefully it lasts another couple months you got to be a contortionist to get this sucker back in there Oh lordy. Oh, then I forgot to take the crescent with me. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that fit. Here we go, one step closer. Uh, if you wanna wonder why I don't just put some of these back in there, well, it's right in the freaking runway zone when I lift the grapple up for the excavator. So I put this heifer in there and it's held up so far until the nut came off the backside. So we are one step closer to loading up the machine for work tomorrow. Okay, one more thing that's on the list that I can't do tonight. I have all this stuff cut out at dad's house where the welder's at. I have not bought my own welder yet because I've been a spoiled kid. I've always had dad's welder. Dad's got several welders at the house and uh, I just need to break down and buy my own so I'll add that on there later I know most trailers come with that I just got to double check everything I say because someone's gonna throw in the comments uh, My trailer came standard with those. Yes, this one should have came standard with that ramp extension so that the ramps don't flip up and I feel like every trailer should come standard with chain racks like every trailer uh, I'm not gonna paint that because chains are gonna rattle on it every day. So Let's go up there, go grab the 080. Oh, I got the bolt done. 
we're all set for tomorrow's pre-mission before the popcorn mission. Much like a pre-trip inspection on your truck, same thing for a machine. Just greased her, checked the oil, and oh, we gotta clean the air cleaner. We're not gonna pull out a hose off the truck. We got something good right here. Simple. Uh, some people don't like to blow their air cleaners out. They'd just rather replace it. Excavator doesn't really get into the dustiest situations. Not like a mulcher does. So I'll just use that guy. It's not really high pressure. It's more volume. Directed out that little nozzle. It does a pretty good job for stuff just like this. So she's good to go. Put the cap back on. Check the oil. Load her up. All right. I got the excavator loaded up. Let's try out the convenience factor or the chains i run these short ones because well for one they're way easier to handle than the long ones and you don't have to uh oh 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 you don't have to deal with a bunch of ow she fell don't have to deal with a bunch of extra slack throw each one i might get a whole bunch of uh, chains with that hook on one end and the standard over here for hooking up to the 12, it might be easier. But I use the shorties, one for each corner. Go ahead and slap one of these suckers to the lot. Oh no. All right, that made life a whole crap ton easier. I'm gonna go ahead and chain this thing down. Having the chains right there is a little bit out of reach, but I don't mind hopping up there. I gotta get up there to get out of the box anyway. If you guys are new to the channel, this excavator weighs 20,000 pounds. Trailer's rated 30K. Truck's rated for ha, 6,000 trillion tons. Just kidding. But I have a 45 sticker on it. It's completely legal. Uh, as far as my knowledge, uh, according to the uh, commercial cop in our district. But, and I do have a class A CDL. So we get those knocked out of the way because commenters, I'm just, it's like a defense today. Commenters are just ragging on me over a little things that I've already thought I took care of but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video I did blow out the cab with my little leaf blower the Makita model but for tomorrow's video I am not gonna not gonna need these I'm gonna take these off throw them somewhere oh, we got a stuck one but tomorrow you guys get your popcorn out for one we're getting something freaking awesome okay for two, I am announcing what I'm going to give away for the 25,000 subscriber giveaway. So that will be for uh, Saturday's video. But as for now, Makita Power Tools have been killing it. 080's been doing his job. Still having a little exhaust brake issues. That's one thing I'll tell you right now. Uh, I got my V2 like a week ago, but it's... I guess me maybe my computer's off or program is goofy but I get the tunes put them on there and it says uh, I'll put a caption or I'll put the code up on here if you guys have any input on that I just haven't had a chance to contact my tuner to uh, try to sort that out I just googled it YouTube it to see how to fix it and so far no luck but anyway we're gonna end it there because Boone is falling asleep oh poor guy's got a cobweb on him Huh. Anyway, if you guys like this video, feel free to hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Share this video. 
and comment below what your favorite power tools are that you now use over any air pool, air tools or gasoline powered stuff uh, I'm not trying to preach hippie talk by saying go electric but electric is ready to fire up as long as you got a charged battery those things just seem to be there ready to rock and roll you don't have to crank nothing uh, weed eater yeah you don't got as long of batteries uh, as you would for gas powered little things like that but I don't like carrying around an air hose. I don't like carrying around a compressor on the back of the truck, taking up space, taking up extra weight that I could be putting towards payload. Little things like that. So comment below your guys' favorite power tools. Uh, if there's something that I need to get for the shop, let me know. Uh, I'll try my best to save up my bucks. I'll order something sweet for the shop. If you guys think there's something I absolutely need that makes sense. I try to tell you guys what I need on a level of we're not in there day in and day out. We're out in the field and all that good mess. But anyway, see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Later.